Hey guys, it's Courtney and Seth here today, and today we are back in Mount Airy, North Carolina, also known as Mayberry, for the 2023 Autumn Leaves Festival. We are going to take you guys around as we eat and make our way through the festival, so if you'd like to join us, let's go. The 57th Annual Autumn Leaves Festival has arrived for the 2023 season. Located in the heart of Mount Airy, also known as Mayberry, this festival offers food, drinks, arts, crafts, and entertainment. Let's take a look around to see what this festival has to offer. And just a reminder, there are some free public spaces to park in, but more than likely if you get here at a, like a super busy time, you can pay to park, which is convenient, but just be sure to bring some cash. All right, so we did put out a poll asking you guys what we should try first, and it looks like the collard green sandwich was the winner, so that's what we're in line for now. And I've never seen them have shirts before, but hey, this is a really popular food item here, so that's a super cute shirt. And man, they are stepping up their signage game. I know last year or in, in past years they've had like paper signs, but this looks really nice. But here's the prices of everything. The collard green sandwich is $8, but they also have a bowl, corn on the cob pintos, and they do have drinks as an option as well. All right, so we have our sandwich here, and I will say the size last year was a little bit smaller, but hey, I'm really glad that that we have a big portion here, but honestly, now looking at it, we wouldn't have got two, because <laughs> this is our first snack of the day, but we're going to dig into this. We'll let you guys know what we think. And right out here at the Mayberry Market and Souvenirs, they've had these apple pies here for years, and they are delicious, so Seth's going to grab him one to take home and eat with us. And next, Seth's going to get a ground steak sandwich. This is one of the staples here, and we're just going to share that one. All right, so here's the ground steak sandwich. It does come with slaw and mayonnaise. It's a pretty good helping here, but we're going to dig in. We'll let you guys know what we think. We wanted to take a little breather, so we came down here to Market Street, and you guys, it is completely dead. I know the other wineries on Main Street were pretty busy. People probably just don't know about um, the Thirsty Souls and White Elephant down here, but be sure to come down here if you want some AC and have a drink. All right, so we are back at Wild Bill's Old Fashioned Soda. We did bring our mug from last year. We're going to see if it works for refills. Um, they did say something about that last year, but not seeing anything on the signage right now about it, but we'll see when we get up here. All right, so success. We brought our cup from last year, and it was only $7. So we do have a little wristband showing that we did buy for today, so we're going to grab some soda now. All right, so we got the orange creamsicle. Go ahead and try it out, Seth. As good as last year? It's pretty good? It's so good. All right, so I think our next stop is going to be to the ham biscuit stand. Let's head that way. And on the way, we're gonna look at some of the other things that are here, like the Carolina Bee Farm. So it looks like they have actual 100% beeswax candles. And back there, it looks like they've got all types of honey. So we're gonna get a little closer look here. So they do have all these different flavors, like ginger infused, mint infused well, just they have a ton of these the but bees? man the honey bees love the honey that is so funny this booth is southern threads and woodwork looks like they've got some signs and decorations maybe something you'd put on your porch and here's another Ruritan club red bank Ruritan. we do remember those they always have the polish sausage there and i always remember this ted and fred's homemade ice cream they've got it churning right here and we actually did get some of this last year all right and we have made it to the country ham biscuit stand this is one of our favorites every year so sets up there now getting us some biscuits all right so here is the ham biscuit as always it has a nice homemade biscuit and a big slab of ham on there we're gonna dig into these we'll let you guys know what we think and this stand right here is always very popular and always has a really long line it's the donut stand but yeah actually it's not that bad from where we normally see it but i think we might try one so this company is the peaches baking company and you can get the donut for five or a deal for 12. and you can see they're right here frying them putting them in the glaze and hanging them up all right so we just got our donut and it's a good time to remind you guys that a lot of the booths here are cash only so be sure to bring some cash with you but here's a look at our donut it's pretty big and it looks like it is glazed so we're gonna dig into this we'll let you guys know what we think and right down here they've got music it's 
played constantly throughout the day, and it's actually live broadcasted on Mount Airy's local WPAQ radio station. So let's give them a little look. And they actually have a dance floor up there. Nobody's dancing. It's a little warm today, but normally you'll see tons of people out there. Speak of the devil. Here comes some people dancing right now. So Courtney has went back to Wild Bills to get a refill. It's unlimited refills for the whole day. I've hopped in line for the Bloomin' Onions, which almost always has this long of a line. So here we go. All right, so here's what they cost. The Bloomin' Onions are $10, Crazy Fries are seven, Texas Tornado Fries are $8, which I don't really know what that is. Turkey Legs, 15, Chocolate Dip Cheesecake on a Stick for six, and Corn on the Cob for three. But we're gonna go with the Bloomin' Onion. All right, so we've got it. We did pick up some Boom Boom Sauce and Ranch. We had to wait a minute because they were out, but it's fresh. it is fresh and hot, so it may take us a minute to eat it, but we'll let you guys know what we think. And also up here we have the Pickers Tent. They just have some live music for you to sit back and listen to, so let's take a listen. So we have noticed this year that there seems to be more vendors and for the usual streets that they have vendors on, it looks like they've expanded farther down those streets. So we definitely can't cover everything, but be sure you guys check it out. We're at McMaster's Hog Sauce and we're gonna try a couple originals here. All right, I'm sorry, we're gonna try spicy and an original. So we'll let you guys know what we think. So this is a local business, it's Rural Hall, which is about 20 minutes from here in Mount Airy but I did notice that they had the sign here mentioning three locations and all three of these are actually in Mount Airy so that's really cool that you know they've got their product in local stores here and also here is a festival map like I said there is a lot more to offer this year so feel free to scan this QR code now to view everything that the Autumn Leaves Festival has to offer all right so this year again the Autumn Leaves Festival does have some merchandise for the event so here are some of the prices and let's check out the merchandise. All right, so here's the canvas tote bag and the keychains. And also here's the crew neck and they also have hats. And it looks like they do have two variations of the shirt or I'm not sure if one is the front and one is the back, but regardless, super cute for both of those designs. They also have some fall guide books for the festival. And I really love this tumbler. That is super cute. And also we do have another variation of that shirt. I think I like this one just a little bit more, but that is super cute. All right guys, so we wanted to wrap up our experience at the Autumn Leaves Festival. Mainly, all we did was food, but we did walk around. Um, the atmosphere was as usual. Um, it was really, really familiar and very nostalgic. We go every year, even before we had our channel, mm -hmm. back to when you know I was a kid and you were yeah. a kid. I know we always went with family, um, but this year they had quite a few more vendors. Yeah, they really seemed to add a whole lot, especially down that whole extra street. Yeah, there seemed to be a lot more vendors and the streets seemed to be more spread out, kind of like we mentioned. Also, we did notice that the vendors were handing out like more samples of things. I'm not yeah. sure if we've just missed that in the past or not, but I feel like we got quite a few samples of like some food and things like that. So um, we actually enjoyed that. It was mm -hmm. it was refreshing to kind of see the vendors trying to you to um, provide their product to you and for you to like to actually be able to sample yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but with that being said, we will move on to the food. So the first thing we did try was the collard green sandwich. Um, and that was the thing you guys voted for for us to yep. try first. That is actually my favorite item at the Autumn Leaves Festival. It's good and consistent every year. Um, but the collard greens and the cornbread and the fat back are probably some of the best of those food items yeah. that I've yeah, had. Yeah, everything's it's, it's really yeah. good. and. Uh, I think like we mentioned earlier is that it was like bigger than last year. Yeah, like which the was sandwich good. itself. Yeah. 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 Um, so it was a good portion. Um, the price remained consistent and the sandwich itself, like I said, all three of those ingredients, 
very good separate but combined together just mm -hmm. perfect but the next thing that we got was the ground steak sandwich a lot of people this is their favorite go-to yeah. item i am so so you know on ground steak sandwiches i like them but really have to be in the mood to eat them um so i'm not just always ready yeah to eat those. But like, that, that you said yeah you always it was it was that. really good um we made them I they are grow up eating them, but uh, Restaurants even when I was them. in line before I ordered, I had heard like four or five people saying, yeah. "Oh, this is the ground Favorite, steak yeah. sandwich. I always have to get this." So, and one like, person said, "I heard this is the best thing." Yeah, you know, like so I like word of mouth before. or something like people really like that. So and I like it too. I think it is yeah. a, probably one of the best variations of a ground steak sandwich. Yeah, that one that there I've is had. Really good. I'm just. Like I said, I'm, it's not necessarily my favorite thing to eat, but it is really, really good. Yeah. But it, you, would you say that's one of your favorite things? I would say that it it is, and it is a good like version that I've had of it. Uh, mm -hmm. Personally, it's small and everything's good. Yeah, personally, I would like to add a tomato slice to it, but <laughs> they don't they don't have that there, and that's understandable. But it's it it still tasted great. Yep. Yeah. And the next thing we got was the uh, Wild Bill soda. That was the old fashioned soda. We actually ended up getting three or four yeah. refills of that. Um, and we were able to use our mug from last year. So that is very, very much worth it. Unless you're just collecting them from each year. Um, like I know typically for us, we don't really use the mug between the year yeah. for you know autumn leaves like we don't really use it here at home um so it was good for us to be able to take it back we got a discount on it and for only seven dollars we got like four huge drinks yeah so if you were to compare it to like buying Getting a soda, a soda yeah like yeah. we bought a couple uh sodas that were just cans two dollars and those were two dollars a piece so if you look at it like that and you were going to need multiple drinks yeah. while you're there and there's no like sharing rule that we yeah, know of we share that's really the this deal mm -hmm. for drinks um so the next thing was the ham biscuit this is probably tied for my favorite thing with a collard green sandwich or a very very close mm -hmm. second just because it is so good i love country ham if you guys aren't aware of what country ham is basically you have like christmasy type ham you know sweet glazed ham and we have country ham here in the south or in north carolina more specifically it's very salty it's salt cured ham but that is always so good they make it fun they say give a hog a home like that's their little mm -hmm. slogan but we actually got one of those to go that's the only food yeah. item that we got one for tomorrow it's gonna be my breakfast tomorrow yeah. so i mean that says something in itself that it's the only one that we got to go but that one is always delicious uh, but the next thing we got and this is new for us we actually got one of the amish donuts yeah those that donut stand's been there for a Ever. good number of years and we've never, that i can we've remember never been. but yeah and it was good i mean honestly on par with Krispy cream donuts taste wise but much bigger than the Krispy Kreme yeah, donut. Yeah, it, it was good. It was all, uh, and it was cheap. And it was like five dollars for one. It, it's mm -hmm. a pretty good sized donut. Um, yeah. And we just halved it and that was a plenty especially that, yeah. with the other stuff other that we stuff ate. That we ate. Um, but they do have another deal. I think you can get like three donuts or something. I'll, I'll yeah. put, of course we'll put the, uh, the signage up here as we're talking. Yeah, 12. And that's what I was thinking of in my head for some reason that the $12 was for the one donut. But obviously that was incorrect. But that it will be probably a new go-to for us. Yeah. For sure because it was delicious and also we did get the bloomin onion which is good as always pretty traditional if you guys have like an outback where you are yeah um pretty similar to that but that is always good and it's always fresh and delicious really good to see it being made yeah. in front of you it's good the sauce this time for the, the was bloomin sauce was spicier than i remember but still uh, good. it was still good we we didn't finish it of course but it was good um, and then we did get two samples of two items. So we did get the um, bee honey sample. What was the name yeah. of that Carolina Bee Farm? Car yeah, Carolina Bee Company. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll put it up here. Um, but they let us try some of the honey samples. I'm not a big honey person, but I could tell. So I got like a honey supple honey, and it was actually real, like a really nice sweet consistency, and it was. It was actually pretty good. Again, I'm not really that big of a honey person, but I would honestly eat that on something. But what, which one did you get? I got the apple crisp. Uh, it was good. I don't, I can't say that it tasted like apple, I guess. To me, Maybe it just like kind of tasted like, like honey. Yeah. But uh, he mentioned to me that there, some of the honey that he gets is from different mm -hmm. parts of the country because yeah. Uh, where we only have certain types of flowering fruits. Oh, yeah. So the local honey that he has, and he said he had about 400 hives. Uh, and there were bees all so, around, as you guys you know, see. <laughs> he only actually has so many, so much types of honey at his farm. Locally. But 
he does source other honey from other farms across the states. And the other one, we got some barbecue sauce samples. Again, a lot of samples this mm -hmm. year, which is really, really nice. And we tried this regular and the spicy, and it was really good, too. Yeah, it was good. I'm very pleased that they're doing all of these samples this year. I feel like it got us in tune with a lot more of the local businesses. We don't do a lot of shopping. Typically, we do a lot of eating. True. Um, but that feel like that brought us a little bit closer to that side of the festival. Yeah. And they're really trying to connect with people on that on that side, so it was good. The barbecue sauce was really good, and everybody was super friendly. Mm -hmm. But that is all that we got. Yes, we ate all of that in the span of like four hours. Yeah. <laughs> so we are absolutely stuffed. Just be prepared if you're coming to the festival yourself. It is for three days, um, starting on Friday, Saturday, and ending on Sunday, uh, Sunday afternoon. So you can spread it out a little bit. We just wanted to get everything done today yeah. for the video for you guys. But this is a great festival if you're able to come. We definitely would recommend bringing your friends and family. Uh, check out the different shops on Main Street, like we said, Market Street um, with. Um, the white elephant and thirsty souls yeah was empty people probably just don't know it's down there honestly yep. so you can eat drink adult beverages as well have a good time have some entertainment and really just relax and enjoy mm -hmm. the fall festival but we hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to like this video comment let us know if you've ever visited the autumn leaves festival before or if you plan to for the 2023 season and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more mayberry mail mary content coming soon so until next time we hope, we hope to, to see you on the, the next adventure, adventure. Bye.